It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Mask feels about to get a little bit steamy. <laughs> Not 50 Shades of Grey steamy. No. But we're talking about steaming your clothes. It will remove wrinkles and help you look your best. Joining mm -hmm. us with a lesson in steaming is Justin Haynes, fashion designer and founder of Justin H. Justin, mm -hmm. nice to have you here. Glad to be back. Now, steaming is really the new ironing, right? Right. It's actually number one now. Um, it's quick and easy and painless, really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can't burn your, Well, you can no. burn yourself, but you know. No. But, so you can definitely burn yourself. You definitely can, yes. But <laughs> irons are something, they're kind of a thing of the past. Why would you still want to iron instead of steam? Well, I mean, iron still gives you that press where there's still creases in the arms of some shirt, some pants, you know, that steaming still can't do. Mm -hmm. You know, steaming can't really keep those creases in the pants like an iron can. That's true. So you if know. you're going out, if you're a guy and you want to have your, your suit looking nice, maybe you steam the creases, creases like you. Right. Very pronounced. But creases should only be in certain pants too, as well. It oh, only really? Be on a dress type of pant. So um, we don't wear creases pants. and khakis anymore, not too much. Uh oh. You know, um, depending on how casual or how dressy you plan to go. Okay. You know. I might need to leave because okay. I got <laughs> a, a crease right You're now. Okay. I feel so You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Ah. <laughs> Fashion faux pas. Okay, so that's when you would iron. Now let's talk about steaming. steaming. There's many different types of steamers. So let's start with what are the different options when it comes to a steamer? For well, your there's house? a travel, there's a handheld, and then there's the industrial steamer. Um, these, the handheld and the travel, you want to take when you go out in different places like that. The industrial steamer is just something that just handles a little better as far as the steaming. Um, it's just more portable. It's not really portable, but it's just more stationary to the point where you can hang it and then steam it. This and it could be a spot in your house, too. Right, and, it's just stationary. And even these know. industrial ones, you can get it for under 100 bucks. you can get a good yes, one. Yes, definitely, definitely, about 95 so. And right. you don't have to put out the ironing board and You don't. Heat this is something iron. that you can just keep plugged in stationary and just have it there, just a click while you in the bathroom while you're doing X, Y, and Z. So when it comes back, it can steam and you can start. Now, we have a bunch of demonstration shirts, and as you might have guessed, they're my shirts because they're really wrinkled. Right. So we're going to unwrinkle them. How do we do Let's it? Let's unwrinkle them. Let's start. <laughs> Please, <laughs> begging you. Hopefully, uh, we got some steam going. Yeah. Now, let's talk about fabrics. There are so many different types of fabrics, a lot some of fabrics. that you don't ever want to touch with an iron, no. but are okay to steam. Right. Like satins and silks, you do not want to touch with irons. You want to make sure that you keep them with um, the steamers. Also, wool. You do not want to iron wool. You want to steam wool. Because the iron of the steam, well, the, just the steam in general from the iron will leave the wool having that type of wet smell that you don't uh -huh. want. If okay. I make the investment and I, uh, I grab a steamer, if I steam when I get home from work and I, I make the shirts look good as new again, that can uh, save me a trip to the dry cleaner too, right? Definitely. It definitely can, but you still want to go to the dry cleaner as far as like your collars and different stains on your shirt. I recommend dry cleaning, number one. That's true. But when you have something quick, even when, sometimes when you come back from the dry cleaning, it's still not 100% wrinkle-free. Okay. You know, so this is something that you just want to kind of just do. So, so hopefully we, we can start steaming right now. And if we have a, you know, a technical malfunction, we'll tell you about our days. Easy breezy. Yeah. No, that's fine. We may be out of water. But think, basically, yeah. you do <laughs> want to necessarily know the fabric that you're steaming. Yes, so that you, you have to know your fabric. Ruin it. Yeah, but we can just show you, if we don't have any yeah, steam, sure. how you should steam a shirt. So let's start. We'll start with this one. You can see it. Okay. You always want to don't attack it right on the shirt. So, oh, oh we go under wait inside. inside. You go inside? You go I've inside been doing it all wrong. And let the steam come out through, and then it'll be... But do you actually, can you touch the shirt with the steamer? You can touch the shirt with the steamer, but what that will cause is water spots, which you don't want. Okay. You want the water spots to go inside, it'll dry quicker. All right, so you go inside the shirt. Inside the shirt. Does that go for any shirt, no matter what It goes what with any it shirt, is? any dress, any any skirt, anything that you can get inside of, go inside to steam it. Okay, and then yeah. the steam comes out and that will remove the wrinkles. Exactly. Now, if you had a steamer like this, you know, this is what, um, I, this is actually a steam hanger that I got from Home Goods. Oh. So it's, it's a small little hook that you can just keep stationary to with that. When you hang your pants here, this is something that you can do here. Ooh. Well, if there's pants on it, then yeah, you'll, they'll fall. Definitely, they'll, you'll definitely need but to iron it. But you just want to make sure <laughs> you know, it. You go that way too as okay. well. Okay. Even with the shirt too, you go inside of. Go inside of. Okay, now, question for you. When people iron, they use something like a starch, starch right? To right. keep it really crispy. Right. Do you use that when you steam? You do not use it when you steam, only when you iron. Um, if you use it when you steam, it has no purpose. Uh -huh. What's the purpose? It's just there, you know, and what it does is you have steam spots and um, starch spots all over your shirts and your garments and you really don't need it. You know, steaming is a point of 
quick ironing. Mm -hmm. So basically you don't need to make your shirt stiff if you're gonna steam. But it looks so much better when you have a nicely steamed or ironed shirt. Exactly. As opposed to wearing... Right, and even with your suits too, a lot of ironing on your suits leaves a shine, especially on your navies and your blacks. Why not use a steamer to keep them fresh and clean? Great point. Steaming Jesse. 101. Always a pleasure to have you here, and I'm glad these are all set up because now I have my work cut out for me for after the show. <laughs> <laughs>